All right, what is up, you guys? And of course, always welcome back to League Battle UBL versus. I was going to say the Ducklets. This this guy, um, Johnny, one of the best players around here. Um, definitely check this guy out, even if then. Uh, I've been actually looking at him myself. I'm really feel I've been missing out. As he makes really, really quality content. So highly, of course, going to be linked down below. And to be honest, I'm a bit nervous about this game. If you see my team analysis, I had. A bit of a mixed feeling whether or not how I should tackle this team, but we'll see what we're finning off against. <laughs> Looks the part. Hatterini, Steelix, Toxapex, Rotom, Heat, which is our probably biggest threat uh, together with uh, Dragapult, which is really good against me, and Berskuda. And Berskuda, I don't fear it, but also know it's really, really hard hitting. And there are going to be situations where I need to fend off against it properly. But overall, I feel his obviously needs to be Rotom. He's either that or Steelix. And Persecutor would be really, really cocky if it did. Um, so I feel I'm gonna lead off with Rhyperior. But first and foremost, I'm gonna just write down the team. So Hat, Steelix. It doesn't feel to be at least uh, a trick room team. Let's see, Rotom. Now, one thing that Rodan can do that I don't like, the Dragapult, is burning me. So with that in mind, I might actually lead off with uh, Scrafty, as it's not really concerned about anything now, is it? Uh, besides the potential U-turn, that is. This is so slow. There we go. Um, so lead off with either Steelix or Dragapult is my genuine feeling. And we'll take it from there. And of course, with him, good luck and have fun. As, um, um, you know, I'm never really bothered whether or not I win or lose. But of course, I always want to win. But most and foremost, I honestly just want to have uh, a, you know, a good showcase game. We just thought with Roach Tom, was kind of feeling that. Let's see. We should be all good, though. Um... I think his best play here is kind of Volt Switch on me or Burn me. Um, I'm just gonna go for a. Rain Punch is kind of alright. Doesn't have anything to necessarily resist it besides Pex. No, actually, Throw Chop is kind of safe. <laughs> Let's do that. Um, right, Will Wisp. That's good. Something we already had in mind. But Shed Skin should keep us afloat, and I get Resilient on this guy. And we find out whether or not he's leftovers. Um, right, not leftovers. That means he's, he needs to be very about this. And uh, I'm expecting him now to the wall switch. Should I keep throat chopping? Like, Toxapex is a great switch in here. I like to wheel this guy down. Yep, keep throat shopping, I guess. Um, right, ball switch, that is to be expected. Shouldn't do. It does alright, but it's not like plenty. Um, like I said, Pex is a fair switch in. And while I can bulk up and stall against it, I'm not particularly fond of dealing with it. I did alright. Yeah, I'll take the time to bulk up here. Um, I think I'm gonna go for Toxic Spikes. I'm not incredibly scared by that, though it is annoying. Um, withdraws. Cool. To back to Road Home. Yeah, I'm staying, buddy. But this time, I think it's gonna go for an overheat. So my play should be Drain Punch. I just really need to build out this Rotom. Uh, bolt switching, okay. Back to Pex, I guess. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I 
<laughs> does it roughly the same, doesn't it? Um, I'll be honest though, I kind of regret it that I didn't go for another frog shop. He could have been a full bunker, right? So frog shop this time, see what he wants to do, and... Uh, haste, okay. That's good. I'm not particularly worried about Hayes, though, you know, he keep me clear at bay. So, I think he's gonna go for a Toxic Spike here. Withdraws to Road Charm again? Hatterini, okay, cool. And, um, my play here is go for Heavy Slam. Depending on how good it is, he should go to Steelix. He could have Mystical Fire and I should do a fair chunk. This guy also learns Nussle, which is something I'm kind of scared of. <sighs> really scared of, really. Um, Shadow Ball, cool. I think we take this fairly. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that's fairly. No special defense decrease, which is great for us. And Heavy Slam, yeah. You die in here, buddy. This is my matchup. If I were him, I would try to preserve this. Right? I so bad went over Stealth Rocks, but I have no way of getting them out of here. It depends how much man am I? I mean, Rodum comes in. Yeah, he switches out. Yeah, should have self rocked. I had that gut feeling, you know, that you, know, you just you gotta have the balls to do it. And we know this guy's heavy boots for sure. Um, the way I see it, like overheat should do all right, but Volt Squid should be his play. So, yeah, wish swap here to Raisha. Like, every damage on this guy is just plenty. But overheat should be to play, I think. Will Wisp, cool. We don't mind that. He has a rough time, as it is said, isn't it? Sheds, he does not do not do any favors. Gonna go for bulk up here. There's the Volt Switch. You know, we're clearly getting Willow down, and, um, you know, it's not a pretty sight. I just really want that Hathaway away, as if I can do that, I should be able to set, set up rocks safely. Okay, Shed Skin, I kind of need you to kick in here. Guess not. Um, I'm going to go for Rest here instead. I think he's going to go for an Haze. Or set up his Toxic Spikes. Like, I don't... I'm not scared of Pex, but I don't have the right matchup here. I have two months to deal with it head on. But it's whether or not I will get that situation to actually pull something like that off. So there's a Scald. It shouldn't necessarily do anything. It actually does alright. That's a crit. Cool. There it is. Shed Skin. We woke up. That means we're gonna force him for an haze. I don't want to be greedy here. You know, we plus one. You know, we'll take any damage we can get. <sighs> Even though it isn't a lot. Keep scrolling, actually. Cool. Don't know about that. Skull haze. Ah, 
Uh, so with that in mind, he's just going to recover now or go for another Scald. He's definitely not going to Toxic. Or if he does, you know, kudos to him. Hey, it's Toxic or Scald. If it's Toxic Spikes, that's going to be great. Baneful Bunker. Cool. So which one here? Showcase that we are the Stall Breaker set. Uh, which Ross? To Hatterini? Should be faster than that. Dragapult. It has Woos. But we have the Kassib Berry, so you should be able to, take, able to take one hit, and I should be able to get a good chunk on this guy. Though, I presume he's going to um, U-turn. I'm feeling it. If we go for Shadow Ball, we should easily take one. Thunderbolt, that's way worse. We take it, but that's way worse. We don't get full of Paralyzed, which is great. And we do the chunk I want. Thing is here... We don't know... If he's locked into that. Like, I think it did fair, but definitely, like, not super a lot. But Thunderbolt is Thunderbolt. I'm gonna bring Erasure. Um, I wanna see him U-turn. He withdraws. Yeah, he don't like that situation. To Rotom? To Rotom. That guy, that Rotom, just keeps on getting it. And, like I said, Rotom is my main issue this matchup, as it is a Pokemon that easily comes in and out. And as long as my opponent don't get the hazards up, it's okay. But Toxapex is always the switch in. We throw Chopin this time. As he should easily go for a Volt Switch again. Overheat, yeah. Oh no, you hate to see it. Oh, that was clearly not fair. That was not right. Like, even if that wouldn't have KO'd me, it still is, you know. I'm sorry, buddy. I am. Um, hopefully, it won't like matter in the long run, but it kind of does. It, it kind of does. Um, no, he doesn't have enough. Like, he's going to Volt Switch this time. And. Um, yeah. Like I said, you hate to see it. It's it's not a pretty sight. Like if I were him, I would Volt Switch here as you know. Oh, that did a good chunk though. Yeah, it did a good chunk. Um, <clears> have <throat> reason to think Pex does have recover, which means I think Jellicent comes in for free every time versus it. Ooh, Barascuda, cool. <sighs> I guess I get to showcase my muscle a little bit. Um. I do not want to take a close comment from this guy. So I do obvious play here, to be honest, and <laughs> actually just bring um, my Quillfish. Um, this guy has close combat, it learns Crunch, which means that Yellicent is not on, it's not an option either. Um, it's just all kinds of bad. Uh, I want to see what he wants to do, but uh, at least we have Intimidate, like we will hit him down. But you know, whatever what you do, it's gonna sting me. Close combat lab, that's that's gonna it's gonna hurt. That's a banded. That's a banded beast. No, it was crit. So a lot of back and forth I would say between us. I actually think Scald is my play. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I think he can switch in Steelix, or he's gonna switch in his uh, Hatterini. Try to think, he's gonna go for Toxic Spike. Dragapult. There you go. Nice. <sighs> so we need we need a burn here. Ah, 
Nice. Planned hex. <clears throat> no, I have an issue here. Like, Dragapult is well down, but... I mean, Shadow Ball is a fair play. Um, Draco would be uh, just plenty. I have nothing I want to take that Shadow Ball. He won't go for a farm at least. And if he does, more power to him. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring in Wimsy God hoping he goes for a full powered um a fully powered um uh, what do you call it? Uh, Draco. Thunderbolts, cool. We take those. Um I'll lose nothing going for psychic here. He has no dark type, so as much power as possible. And if it brings picks, we're gonna get a good chunk on it. Uh, he says in, we knock out Whimsicott or Dragapult, and I can finally breathe. Um, Steelix is <laughs> Steelix is now something I fear. Um, yeah, that's the thing though, it's like super resisted, isn't it? Um, maybe that wasn't ideal. <coughs> anyway, I should have gone for a Moonblast. Don't want to lose this guy as it does solve a few matchups. Gonna bring in Zah. I think that makes sense. Uh, I really hope it doesn't go for Shadow Ball. <laughs> oh, you nasty man. That's impressive damage. Special defense decrease doesn't help. It still is my one bet versus Steelix. I took this hit better. Right, bring in Skulls again and go for Moonblast. Um, if you go for Shadow Ball, please do. If it goes for you know stab damage, it's gonna it's gonna probably kill me. He's going for Shadow Ball. Good. I think. <clears throat> now this time I U turn, as it would be really weird for him to sack playing this Pokemon. As it is the only thing between him. Um, I'm gonna get my jelly sent in and just recover this time. Jesus Christ, this is this is what's happening. <laughs> I need to get something healthy fast. I don't care if Rotom comes in. Or I do care, but I at least have switched hands for it. Recover! <laughs> Save me! My dad didn't look particularly good at all. I, I much rather had Steelix in every time. That was absolute mistake on my side. Right, he stays in. I assume him to go for... Stealth Rocks here. Yeah, there it is. I don't believe he can do anything to me, besides potentially roaring. And I think we can shut that down. I think we should. As that should be his only play versus me. Though nothing on my side really suffers. Let's go for Will Wisp. That might have been dumb. He is definitely thinking a few turns on this. I would too. Hands down. If I were him, I'd probably roar. He does withdraw at least. 
Two picks. Good, I don't believe the residuals back at Forte will be that bad. Having this thing burn is definitely helpful. We know, we know it has Baneful Bunker. Should just Shadow Ball here. I think a Rotom comes in here. Should be affected by Baneful Bunker. This would draw Rotom, 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 Rotom. There we go, more acetyl enamel this thing is so important. Oh, we're bringing you down, buddy. We are absolutely bringing you down. Um, bring him back erasure. No, he's gonna go for an overheat this time. There is no way he does anything but that. <laughs> Feeling my switch in. So I'm gonna switch out, try to soak that overheat, and then go to my Scrafty. Wall switch, cool. Great. That is exactly what I wanted to see, kinda. Um, because I don't want to take a Will Wisp. <laughs> At least not with that guy. Foul play. That's alright. Good last move on him, actually. I can get fully behind that. Uh, now I assume him to go for an overheat here. So I'm gonna rest. I think he's gonna do everything in his power to try to knock this guy out. And if he goes to picks, it's still okay. There's overheat, this time it does connect, and it does a lot of damage. And uh, now I'm in a position where I do one versus one this anyway, but he is forced to switch out. Now, it all is, you know, what is the amount to come in. Shetskin kicks in directly this time. Um, he's gonna Volt Switch, I'm gonna Bulk Up. And this time we are in a much better shape. We are in the best shape of our life. I think we're in a position where, like, Barracuda is still rough and Pex is still impossible for me, theoretically, to take out. Unless I get myself in a position which I think is close to impossible. I think I'm gonna be a bit greedy here. I think it's gonna go for a Baneful Bunker trying to get me poisoned. So I just woke up directly. If he goes for a Skull directly here on Haze, more power to him. Ghost Frost Gold. I think that's the right play. I don't want to get burned though. There we go. <laughs> Jesus, this shed skin. I think my opponent is in one of those really weird spots where he's he's not in a losing position, but the amount of like see the plays here are so slow in between one another here that I just I don't know how to do this. There's the haste, that's alright. Like, he needs to recover here, right? So, Necromedusa it is. You start to think, you know, how much time do we got? I feel like this battle has gone on way longer than it needs to. I kind of wanted to bring in my... Oh, which he withdraws. This is a man. This is a man's man. There's a bear scooter and... Um, crunch is crunch. That should be the play. Even though I'm fully healthy, you know, I'm resisting a ghost attack, not dark. He withdraws. This man. To roll charm. I 
Like I said, this is a man. He's just back and forth with the volt switch. I think he's trying to timer stall me. I think I'm gonna have to take a stand on that. So what I'm gonna do now is actually just knock out this Rotom. <laughs> I need to. As I have really no other option but trying to knock this guy out. Connect it! There we go! Mm. Rotom is gone, nice. I, I do recognize him as the way he's playing right now is only to get a situation to prolong me winning uh, and to get the timer against me. And for what it's worth, I think it's working. Let's see, Rotom's out, we have Steelix left. Um, Because I basically want to come in a situation where next time I press Earthquake with Riparia on anything that is in. Um, so I have two options. I either sack play and see if that works for me. Um, let's see, there's a Baron Skewda. And yeah, that's the thing. Like, Artus is my switching. Um, I do believe Crunch do a significant amount of damage. I'll even go so far and say that theoretically <laughs> Crunch might actually be a 2-hit KO and I don't KO him in return. But Intimidate is absolutely helpful. But yeah, like I said, um, if it goes as Crunch here, I mean, what do I do? How much damage will it do even? Ah, you know, we're fine. It's okay. Doesn't matter. And Skull is our play. Um, this would draw to pick some sure. Uh, Steelix. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Burn him! Quellfish is getting it right. Um, you know, I, I can get behind this. I think I'm knocking out next turn here if I want to. Can't do. Let's do it. Right, it does stay in. I know I'm a bit greedy, but there we go. Steelig is gone. Quill, the beast, the monster. Just getting it right. Um, still super issue with Barascuda as um, I know what idea what to do really. There's the Hazarini and um, could try acid spray. It won't work. It won't kill him. Oh, I hate this. I need this guy. Yeah, like that sex art. There is no reason to keep that guy alive. Psychic. Ah, so resisted hit. Define resisted, but yeah, we took it clearly. Um, I just not convinced I can take a shadow ball. Go for heavy slam anyway. Please take it. Ah, there we go. Fine. Fine, we didn't. Right, this will try out. Let's do it. This time we'll lock ourselves in dirt quick. There we go. Hat gone by Ray Perrier.
I was aiming for a 6 0, but you know, this this monster is just that. It is an absolute monster. And Quillfish is my switching. There is just nothing to it. The only thing I can do versus. I can clearly acid spray this, but like I'm leveling back and forth what is my ideal play. But yeah, he goes for liquidation. What's well, not is kind of fair, you know, special defense decrease might be the better overall option. Um I'll go for a skull here. And uh, then I'll follow that up with a taunt versus um Pex. So it does withdraw, I think that's the correct play. I do recognize that he can just keep, if he wants to, scalding me and try to get a burn. Which is probably something he'll try to do now I think about it. But yeah, I'm just gonna go for spikes. Um, at least one layer should be helpful. Just withdraw. Back to the Barrascuda. And this time, you know, should do a better chunk on me. But I in a position where I want to burn him, if I can. Let's see, how much does Crunch do? Roughly around half. And Scald can get a burn. Don't get a burn. Right, he's going to get another Crunch on me, that's for sure. So this time bringing Ratio as um, if he wants to damage me, he should go for a close combat. Or that should be his follow up play, trying to knock me out from here. There's a crunch. Doesn't do all that much, but we get a special defense decrease. Which will force me back to Artis. Did not want to see that. Alright. He just back down there. Goes to Pex. And we now have the Residuals on our side. And um, I feel rather comfortable here. Because his only plays versus me are Skull. I'll get our spikes up. We'll see how much a Skull will do. Um, the way I see it, like if Skull doesn't take too much to us, I mean he shoots Skull here, hands down. Uh, doesn't. Mad lad. <laughs> okay. So another spikes. Um, I do recognize the previous. Crunched it roughly around. I need to go for that burn, don't I? I kinda do. Um, if you get a crit on me, that's gonna be rather nasty. I think it's gonna close combat. No, liquidation, cool. Still should do a lot. Definitely in crunch range. But if we get a burn here, it's a wrap. Come on, Quillfish! <laughs> Jam it! Yeah, we're definitely in crunch range now. Um, damn it. Gotta bring Erasure back. Um, he, does, he can't switch out anymore, which is great. If he switches out, he loses his uh, Rescuda. If you close combat here, he's an absolute hero. Liquidation, cool. And it does. All right. Definitely enough where I can see close combat um, knocking us out next time, but we won't give him that opportunity. Because where I see it now, 
I'm just gonna try to get this guy out. Or at least, you know, make him less threatening to me. It's all about saving face right now. Liquidation next time here will knock me out. But I think he go. Yeah, he should go for liquidation. He definitely won't crunch. That would be crazy. It wouldn't be crazy, but I'm just telling myself that just in case. Yes, finally got it. Cool. Now crunch me if you must. So bad when bringing right period. Those liquidation. All right. I think this is him telling me that I finally got a win. I finally got an effective win. I, this time I actually was trying. Not to say I didn't try versus Vipsis, but the matchup wasn't there, and I wanted to be really unconventional. And Vipsis was just smart enough to really kick my ass while Johnny here is a phenomenal battler and the only reason I win here is because I fucking played it so goddamn mean here like I won't deny it like the only thing I was doing to kinda get myself in the, to the good position I am in right now was defensively trying to shake every finger throw at me and try to bring down Rotom and I, I still don't believe I could beat Rotom um, the only reason you know I, I get it right is because of uh, he let me get the ship on it. So now we know it's full move set, and we just go into you know relinquish this situation as it is. <laughs> I'm feeling super confident, but quite frankly, like I said, the only reason I win is because Rotom gets Willow down. It was a massive win perk for Johnny here, and the only reason, or I can only assume what he was thinking. Um, I don't believe he was trying to be cheeky or anything like that. Um, see, I kind of have to taunt him again, don't I? Um, I actually think, um, like, the way I was tackling Rotom with the defensive uh, Scrafty um, was probably something he didn't see coming, or if anything, I think he was trying not to see that as a potential win con. Um, Willow Wisp, Shed Skin, clearly was helpful for me. And, you know, getting Dragapult out early was also helpful, as it does limit his private option. Besides that, I just I just think I get one or two plays right, and uh, there is nothing wrong with the game my opponent here is playing. Um, in risk of repeating myself, the roll charm and the Dragapult losing those and allowing me to, um, to effectively hurt him um, early on was really the only reason I kind of win here, and uh, there is no reason for me of denying that. Um, so with that said, you know, make sure to check out his side, as I do hope that his team builder are really interesting, and if anything, the way he has been playing lately, uh, his games before me, um, he has showcased that he's playing, you know, in a whole lot of caliber. I can only, Im like... I could only wish I was as good as this guy. I don't. A five-zero victory here for me is not. <laughs> is not me, you know, flexing because uh, the Oregon Ducklets is one of the is the leader of this right now because how good they are. Um, looking back at it, like the only Pokemon I was kind of surprised not to see in or possible two was uh, Rillaboom and Toxic Croak. And looking back at my team, I had the means to deal with them doesn't mean I was able to deal with them. Uh, Rillaboom, for one, really was a Pokemon I was really scared of. Not seeing a Soulless variant of Rillaboom was very helpful. Uh, <laughs> like I said, not to say I couldn't deal with them, but it was necessarily not ideal. Um, at least not in the long run. Um, but besides that, the team is right, and the only reason I win is because I kind of get the plays right early. And um, it paid away. Uh, should talk, stop talking now, I kind of realized I was trying to defend myself, but really just, I'm, I'm so surprised I won. Uh, just because I've seen how good this guy is, and I still stand by that, he's one of the best players in this league for a reason. 
And I feel, like I said, matchup is so much, clearly. Shut up, Chris. Anyway, for, as always, guys, thank you really for watching. I hope you enjoyed this game. I sure as hell had a ride here. As I did it, this, didn't think it was going to hold up here. I was thinking it was going to be as badly dunked as it was versus Vipsis. Um, so that's it, as always. Have a great day, and take care.